Then let's take a number. Uh, greater than three, ten thousand. Ten thousand plus four, positive. Ten thousand minus nine, negative. Positive. Uh, positive times positive multiply positive. It is greater than zero. Now I have to do a small adjustment here uh, to match with this answer. Now you can see that uh, how I take this one. Uh, how did I take this inequality to here? I mean, I multiply by minus. Um, uh, from here to here, I took by multiplying this number so this is become minus square become positive this is become positive and this is become negative so I'll to multiply by okay I take this is one uh, I take this is two two multiply by minus one that's why in that case if you work like this you want to this is one multiply by negative multiply by negative 1 then this is become minus 12 plus x plus x square less than 0 uh, to match with uh, this way um, now if we look at minus 12 plus x plus x square which is this one less than 0 it means that 12 minus x minus x square is greater than 0. Now, this, I will work differently as well. I will show you this sum. Uh, so now, we need uh, x plus x plus x minus 4 less than 0 to match. So the area we need to find is uh, match with, so this is wrong, this is wrong and this is the right area. It means we need minus 4 greater than x greater than 3. In this area, this expression is negative. This expression is negative means this expression is positive. So I will work differently this sum, then you will be fine. Now, this is the sum you need to work out. 12 minus x minus x square greater than 0. Those are good experience actually. And what are the brackets? Earlier I break x plus 4, x minus 3 because I multiply by negative. But if I leave as it is, what are the uh, factors? x plus 4 and this is going to be 3 minus uh, x 3 minus x greater than 0 you can leave as it is and you can work so in this case i turn into a positive and i work uh, that so you may confuse with that uh, but uh, now you are fine so this those are the uh, brackets and we'll work on this one now um, minus infinity I rewrite this one here to get the space. Now minus infinity greater than x greater than minus 4 minus 4 greater than x greater than 3 and 3 greater than x greater than positive infinity and this is x plus 4 x uh, 3 minus x and this is going to be x plus 4 times 3 minus x now take any value between my less than minus 4. 
minus 10,000 then this is become minus this is become plus minus times negative times positive negative less than zero it doesn't match now take any value between minus 4 to 3 I'll take 0, 0 plus 4 is positive, 3 minus 0 is still positive, positive times positive equal positive, this is uh, greater than uh, this is greater than 0, it will match, now this is take any number greater than 3 which is 10,000. 10,000 plus 4 positive, 3 minus 10,000 negative, so plus times negative equal negative, so this is less than 0, so this is not the area we need, so then uh, simply area is, you can uh, acceptable area is, hence minus 4 greater than x greater than or you can write uh, in this form as well minus 4 comma um, 3 but I don't try to write like this uh, it look like coordinate but that is also right and that's we can write an interval like that x square minus 10 greater than 0 um, Part C, you can back, back it out this one, x plus 2, x minus 5, greater than 0, so minus 2 and 5 are the roots, x equal minus 2 and x equal 5 are the roots, so then minus 2 greater than x greater than 5 uh, minus 2 greater than I'm thinking uh, greater than x uh, greater than Minus two, minus two, greater than five, five greater than x greater than infinity. Um, x plus two, x minus five, and x plus two times x minus five. Not the symbol we'll discuss now take any value less than minus 2 and my uh, so I pick up minus 10,000 somewhere here then I sub here minus 10,000 plus 2 it's still minus value negative this is minus 10,000 minus 5 is still negative negative times negative positive greater than zero uh, it will match with the inequality then uh, one area is minus infinity greater than x greater than minus two let's see this one minus two and five any number between minus two and five zero this is going to be zero plus two is positive this is going to be zero minus five negative so positive times negative is negative less than zero so this area is right this is not because it doesn't match with the inequality then with the sense I know that this is going to be positive we'll check that one we'll take more any number more than five ten thousand 
10,000 plus 2 is still positive. 10,000 minus 1 is still positive. Positive times positive is positive. Greater than 0. That's fine. So then the other and the other area is. So the two area uh, we can see. Uh, one is this one minus infinity greater than x greater than minus 2 and the other one is this one 5 greater than x greater than infinity done rd uh, x square plus 7 x plus 12 so uh, x plus 4 times uh, x plus 3 greater than 0 um, so we know that uh, minus 3 and minus 4 uh, are the roots so, minus infinity greater than x greater than minus 3 minus 3 greater than x greater than minus 4 minus 4 greater than x greater than infinity positive infinity and um, this is x plus 4 x plus 3 and uh, x plus 4 times x plus 3 and this is symbols right we'll take anything less than minus 3 minus 10,000 this is minus this is minus minus times minus positive less than 0 not fixed to the answer we need greater than 0 in the sum word uh, we need uh, x plus 4 x plus 3 greater than 0 it is less than 0 it doesn't work and then in between minus 3 and minus 4 minus 3.5 when you put minus 3.5 plus 4 this is positive this is negative so positive times negative um, actually give me a second so, bit of corrections, minus 4 greater than minus 3, so this is going to be minus 4, this is minus 4, minus 3, and minus 3 greater than, okay, we'll let, have to do it again, uh, still the same, basically. not much difference, but um, anything less than minus 4 minus 10,000 when you put negative negative still the things going to be same basically positive and this is uh, greater than 0 so it will match and uh, this is in number in between minus 4 and minus 3 minus 3.5 this is positive this is negative and this is positive times negative which is negative less than zero so this doesn't match this is right this is not and then I believe this both terms is going to be positive and positive when you put any number greater than minus 3 10,000 so then this is positive times positive this is positive so greater than zero the answer is minus infinity less than x greater than minus four and minus three greater than x greater than infinity you can write like this as well x less than minus four and uh, x greater than minus three Part A. 
Now for your general knowledge, so this is value is negative and uh, then it has a maximum and uh, this is this is mean y, y greater than 0. So when you have maximum with the quadratic equation, so all the y values greater than 0 is this part. It means uh, from here to here, the interval. So this is the rough idea. So you should get two R's as, you should get two roots and number line divided into three pieces and the R side should be the middle interval. So this is the idea behind it if you draw a graph. So simply if you simplify and you if you know that uh, okay what are the uh, factors of this one uh, uh, 2x plus 1 and uh, 7 minus 6 so x equal minus half and x equal 7 so this is minus half and 7 so answer should be 1 minus half greater than x greater than 7 I work with other way around so minus of the minus infinity greater than x greater than minus half minus half greater than x greater than uh, seven seven greater than x greater than infinity so and this is two x plus one and this is seven minus x Two x plus one times seven minus x. Two x plus one times seven minus x uh, greater than zero. Now I know the answer according to this setup. So this has to be uh, less than zero. This has to be greater than zero, and this has to be less than 0 answer should be minus half or greater than x greater than 7 now will work so any answer less than minus half minus 10,000 this is negative this is become positive negative times positive become positive less than 0 then any between minus half and 7 0 then this is positive this is positive positive times positive greater than equal positive this is right then anything greater than seven ten thousand this is positive and this is negative positive times uh, negative negative this is uh, quadratic graph it has a max this value is less than zero then from here to here and from here to here is the answer so let's see the um, y minus 2x x plus 2 um, equal 0 x equal 2.5 and x equal minus 2 so this is minus 2 and 2.5 so you had a row properly um, this is x and y and this is the area so x less than minus 2n x greater than 2.5 or you can write 
Let me bring your attention to D actually. I didn't see that there's an equal sign. Uh, x square plus 7 x plus uh, uh, 12 greater than or equal to 0. Then your answer should be uh, x less than or equal to minus 4 and uh, x uh, greater than equal to minus 3 equal sign also should be there if there is equal sign and finally yeah, just equal to zero this is a quadratic it has a minimum we need to find the roots and this bit and this is the answer between those two so we have to do proportionally 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 3 equals 0 x equal half or x equal 3 over 2 so then draw the graph uh, This is half and zero. This is three over two zero. Y and X. So less than area, this is the area we need. So answer is half a greater than x greater than or equal because it has an equal sign 3 over 2. We know that this is uh, negative value max less than 0. So they are, this is the less than zero area. It mean in terms of x, this is two areas we want and we need to find the roots and express the answer. So three x minus seven x plus two equals zero. 3x minus 1 I multiply by minus uh, it is here so x equal 1 third and x equal 2 so when you draw the graph this is max 1 third and 2 This is one third zero. This is two zero. Y, X. So this is the area and then this is the area. Those two areas. So minus infinity X less than one third. And this area. Uh, two greater than X greater than infinity. Also you can write the answer as x less than one third and greater than two uh, x minus three x plus three less than zero uh, uh, x equal three and x equal minus three the roots so minus three and three it mean this is the symmetric line. This is 3, 0. And this is minus 3, 0. Less than area is this is the area. This one. 
So answer is minus 3 greater than x greater than 3. y and x this is it has a minimum and uh, now we need to find the two root greater than zero then there are two areas y value is greater than zero y value greater than zero so now the we'll bracket out this one 3x minus 2 2x plus 5 equals 0, x equal to over 3, o x equal minus y over 2. So this is minus y over 2, 0, and this is 2 over 3, 0. And answer is, so those part are the answers. x less than minus y over 2 and x greater than 2 over 3. You can write the other way. 2 over 3 greater than x. This is k. This is a silicon quadratic equation. It has a minimum. I can see x. I can take a factor of x as a factor then x is a root then it's going to be 0 0 those are the uh, data i can grab by looking at this one uh, so let's solve now greater than 0 i mean uh, it, it should have two answers again um, x times x minus 5 equals 0 x equals 0 or x equal 5 So oh, this is 0, 0, and uh, this is 5, 0, greater than 0, y value greater than 0 in this area. Then uh, one answer is x less than 0 and uh, 5 greater than x is greater than 5 x minus x minus oh, is this? sorry that's a wrong question 2x square plus 3x less than no equal to 0 this is again quadratic and uh, we are expecting one answer from here to here. X, 2x plus 3 equals 0. X equals 0. X equals minus 3 over 2. X equals... This is y, x. This is minus 3 over 2. So y value less than no equal to 0. This is the area you're looking for. So minus 3 over 2 greater than no equal to x greater than no equal to 0. Uh, 